Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And this is the month where planets are going stationary. Mars is stationary now, and he's very soon going to be retrograde. And Jupiter is going to be direct after some days, near about 13th, I guess. All right, today's fifth. And Saturn will be ret uh, direct by the end of this month, around 29th. So. As you know, uh, that when a planet is direct and is about to go retrograde, it first gets stationary and then it uh, goes retrograde. And when a planet goes direct from retrograde, then also it is stationary retrograde and then it goes direct finally. All right, so today we shall discuss what stationary planets want to tell us and uh, why does a planet uh, become stationary first uh, we have to understand that and yes uh, before that uh, many of you have uh, sent me your uh, good wishes for my health so thank you very much uh, yes uh, my health was not very good from last one week uh, but now it is improving and hopefully I'm fine <laughs> so thank you very much uh, to each one of you who have sent your uh, good wishes to mail uh, whatsapp Facebook Instagram and uh, YouTube uh, the comments uh, very happy to see them uh, uh, thank you once again and uh, now let's get back to business again stationary planet so Stationary, the word stationary means uh, planet is not moving, literally. <laughs> so planets are always moving, but when we consider from the perspective of the Earth, it seems as if the planet is stationary. So no planet is ever stationary, planets are always moving. And retrograde means uh, the planet is moving backwards, but actually no planet is moving backwards. Uh, it is uh, with all respect to... Uh, the earth when you check okay when um, the retrogression happens so we should never think that the planets are moving backward actually all right that's a very big misconception that is why it is not known as backward motion it's known as retrograde so what happens exactly so when a planet uh, let's assume a planet is going direct it's moving straight then it has to go retrograde so according to law of physics you know uh, the velocity has to be zero at that point when uh, the planet has to go reverse. So then what happens is that moment when the planet is about to change its direction, that moment is known as stationary. So for example, now Mars is direct in Aries currently as of now. And it is about to go retrograde after some days. So then it, this, this position is known as a stationary, uh, stationary uh, position, okay, currently like two, three days. And now when Jupiter on 13th approach, it is going uh, direct. So then when Jupiter is about to go direct, that is known as stationary retrograde. So which means it's still retrograde, but uh, it's uh, stationary. So it's like almost about to go direct, okay. And then, so Mars, when it is stationary uh, direct, then after that, when it starts retrogression, then again for one or two days, it's uh, again like, you know, stationary retrograde. So it starts retrogression, but it doesn't move literally, okay. So what stationary means? Stationary means that um, a planet is changing the course of its journey or major decisions regarding the houses which that planet rules is coming in our life actually <clears throat> whenever a planet is stationary we are forced to make uh, thing decisions which we uh, need to make actually from long 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 time which we should have made before but now is the time we have to make it and a stationary planet is very powerful why because imagine uh, Retrogression is happening. So what is retrogression? Retrogression basically means that you are you are you are you are trying to think back and see that where some of the decisions which you made once upon a time, where they could did they serve you in the long run? Did they serve the purpose? But then the question is: imagine why do you think like that? Because there are certain things which keep piling up actually. 
and they keep piling 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 and then they will stop at a point which will force you to look back that moment is known as the stationary uh, stationary planet that that moment when you decide yes i need to make a decision now because when a planet is stationary what happens it, it either goes from direct to retrograde or retrograde to direct one of the two happens so in that case you will be forced to make a decision now what that decision is and uh, how will it manifest in your life that will depend on your entire horoscope and uh, what's going on in your uh, dashas and other transits also but the thing is uh, a very simple way to look at it is uh, you check the houses which these planets rule as per your ascendant so currently mars then jupiter then by the end of the month saturn so <clears throat> these uh, these houses will go will undergo this flavor and major decisions will be made and in my knowledge i have seen the stationary uh, period of a planet which is about to go retrograde is more important than a planet which is already retrograde and is about to go direct okay so in this case mars is about to go retrograde so i have already made the video for uh, direct mars uh, sorry retrograde mars uh, in aries back to pisces so if you have not watched it then please watch it and the thing is you have to understand that many times when planets are stationary during transit <laughs> there are certain things which we know deep down inside but we do not admit it to ourselves we keep pretending that yes no 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 i can do it i will do it <laughs> but there is a voice deep down inside which tells you that uh, how do i say it uh, they say na uh, you should you should cut your uh, shoe the as the size of the leg you should not cut the Uh, cut your leg it depending on the shoe right so now i'm not endorsing that don't do anything in life just stay where you are i'm not saying that but what i'm telling you is that irrespective of whatever you do there are certain areas of your life which you cannot change you have to accept that fact as a part of your karma yes now this may seem very demeaning and this might seem that uh, oh this is very pessimistic why should i accept some this you know i will change it you know the modern uh, headless idea is you know oh, go and change everything you can change your destiny you can do what you want right well uh, krishna says in the gita na, that you can do your endeavor but results are not in your control okay so i am not uh, telling that don't put efforts but at the end of the day you have to realize this fact that everything a 100% will not go according to your wish will and desire there are things where you have to compromise you have to settle down in life when it comes to certain areas it can be anything all right and many people do not like to hear this oh you are telling settle down in life no i am not telling you to settle down but you will uh, realize that if you have put a 100% in some area of your life and still that is not happening and then if you keep trying to put you know 500% 1000% then you will end up being more miserable actually okay so the lesson of stationary planets is that we it's one word actually it's humility which means we have to accept this fact that we cannot be like vishnu <laughs> only vishnu can have everything you know? we cannot be like lord narayan it's not possible we we have our limitations so we have to see uh as they say my shiksha guru used to say make the best use of a bad bargain okay so 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 let me give you an example if a person uh, uh has a very serious terminal disease uh, okay or some disease which necessarily does not kill the person but stays life long with the person so then what does the person do the person has to try to cure that disease okay but in spite of all the efforts if it is not happening and then the person tries artificial ways to mitigate that then uh, the person will end up being more miserable because that's not there in that person's karma okay so therefore whichever area of life it is depending on your dashas or the houses that mars rules in your chart or depending on so many other factors um it 
it will be revealed very soon that uh, there are certain things where uh, you will uh, be forced to make a decision and things will pile up and you will realize that better I make it now. <laughs> because if you don't make it now, then uh, the building will collapse. Okay, You, you won't have every, anything remaining with you. So therefore, this is the best time to make a decision okay, when planets are stationary. And the best thing about stationary planets is if we make the right decisions, then we will not regret in the future. We will feel that, yes, I made a right decision. Thank God I made that decision. Okay. So therefore, stationary planets are, can be confusing sometimes because now we are forced to make a decision. So therefore, during uh, stationary periods, it's very crucial that we are always uh, reading the Srimad uh, Bhagavatam or uh, the Bhagavad Gita. And we are closely in contact with our gurus, our shiksha gurus, our mentors. And today is also teacher's day, by the way. So being in contact with your teachers, whichever field it is, it can be anything. You know, it can be astrology or astrology mentor or in spirituality or guru, your diksha guru or your shiksha guru, whoever you are connected to. Or it can be anything. You are in IT sector, then some mentor you have. Or anything you are into sports or whatever fitness whatever it can be so take good counsel take good uh, guidance from your mentors right and only then if, if now if you're confident that you want to make a decision it's fine but don't just make a decision because you have to all right make a good decision <laughs> okay now what that good decision is that will depend on your consciousness and your uh, level of receptivity what do you think is good bad what do you think is right or wrong but what i'm saying is if you are confused then don't just make a decision because you have to okay take good guidance from your mentors and uh, you can connect with them and you can see what is their opinion about your decision okay because uh, the scriptures say that a first class person uh, understands by hearing okay? first class Grade one. Okay. A second class person will uh, listen uh, but not understand. They will see others. Okay. And a third class person will listen, not believe. See others, not believe. Then they will experience themselves. <laughs> that is a third class. And then there is another, you know, fourth class category. Fourth class category is. They will hear, they won't listen. They will see others suffering, they won't listen. They will experience themselves and still not listen, still not understand. And they will get beatings again and again and again. So that is fourth class. Okay. So we should aspire to be in the first class. Okay. Because there's a proverb that experience is the best teacher and a fool learns by no other way. <laughs> so an intelligent person doesn't wait till he gets experience, kicks and beatings from the material world and then understand, right? So therefore, we must read uh, the divine scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita, especially. So, let us uh, read some random uh, shloka. So this is 4th chapter, uh, 42nd verse, 4.42. Krishna is telling, therefore the, therefore the doubts which have arisen in your heart out of ignorance should be slashed by the weapon of knowledge. Armed with yoga, O Bharata, stand and fight. What's the, some, uh, another shloka I will read. This is a very interesting shloka. It is there, uh, 4.32. Even if you are considered to be the most sinful of all sinners, when you are situated in the boat of transcendental knowledge, you will be able to cross the ocean of miseries. All right. As a blazing fire turns firewood to ashes, O oh Arjuna, so does the fire of knowledge burn to ashes all reactions to material activities. In this world, there is nothing so sublime and pure as transcendental knowledge. Such knowledge is the mature fruit of all mysticism. And one who has become accomplished 
in the practice of devotional service enjoys this knowledge within himself in due course of time. So they are very interesting shloka. I just read some random shlokas. You see, so Krishna is talking of ignorance here. <laughs> And stationary planets can sometimes reveal our ignorance. We are not aware of the things that we want ourselves, all right? That will be all from my side. And uh, I will be making the videos on Jupiter, Saturn's direct motion uh, in the next few days, all right? Thank you very much for your patience. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, my website link is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.